Make sure you watch to the end because I'm going to share three of my hottest tips to help you refresh your goals. So you may or may not already know that today is Refresh Your Goals Day. And we tend to think of January 1st as the big day, the day that many people will set a resolution, decide to start working out, quit smoking, quit drinking, eat better, move more, whatever it is. And today's the day where you can kind of take stock of that. And here are three of my favorite tips that you can use, and they're super simple to refresh your goals. The first one is to really assess your progress. And that just means notice where you are today in comparison to when you started. So many times people get stuck because they look at the goal. So maybe that goal was to lose 30 pounds and they might say, oh, I only lost five pounds. You know, you can flip that script and instead, you know, really celebrate, I lost five pounds or I lost 10 pounds. I've made this much progress or I've started eating, you know, all these new green vegetables or I now drink two cups of water a day um, extra to what I used to drink. So really, um, assess where you are, how far you've come. And some people call that the gain. So instead of looking at the gap or where, you know, how much further you have to go, looking at the gain, what have you gained? What, ha how have you grown? Second this step or the second tip that I want to share with you is to get creative. So especially if you've got a workout plan that you're, you've been sticking to or you're trying to lose weight, and we know that to lose weight, it takes a couple of things. It takes movement and it takes looking at what you eat. So if you've been exercising and you've started doing a workout, um, you might vary things like adding in cross training, adding yoga or weightlifting or strength or you know walking or running. But say you're doing a, a walking workout and that's you know what your doctor has said you should do and you kind of know that this is what feels good to your body. Now in addition to some of those things I mentioned like adding some strength or some stretching, you can also vary when and where you walk and even the distance that you walk. So you have a lot of different variables that you can play with and those variables are really important because if you do the same thing over and over again, First of all, you might get a little bored doing that, but also your body gets really used to doing the same thing repeatedly and your body gets really efficient at doing the same thing over and over again, which means that you will not get the same result. So you have to keep things fresh, keep your body guessing, and then also keep that creativity so you're still excited and engaged in your workout so you continue. And then my third hot tip for refreshing your goals is to be accountable. And that basically means having a buddy. So it can be an accountability buddy, a workout buddy. Um, so it could be somebody that you need to work out with, somebody you text and say, hey, I did my walk around the block and I'm feeling like this, or working with a coach because a coach can really help you get to those goals a little more quickly. So I'm really curious how you're doing, You know how you've come along with your goals for the beginning of this year. We still have plenty of time and you know, every day is a chance to get started over again. And I look forward to hearing from you. Please comment below. Let me know what your favorite tip is to feel more refreshed and engaged in your workout or in whatever your goal is.